watch this video and I'll be right back. White women could have ended systematic racism, patriarchy, and all of the shit that we're dealing with generations ago if we had just raised our sons better. Have you ever noticed that the most problematic men on the internet have mothers that are Karens or completely just turn a blind eye to what their sons are doing? I had a talk with a friend and me and my friend decided that the reason this exists is women don't have unconditional relationships with their partners or their fathers or their grandfathers. And in order to experience unconditional love with a man, they place that relationship on their sons. Now their sons provide them entitlement, privilege, and power. And the only men that will never betray them. Have you ever seen a relationship where clearly a man puts his mother first and negates any emotional well-being of his current partner? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And to further that, a lot of white moms are willing to exploit their son's emotional fragility, like real emotional needs, in order to get likes, gains, and follows. And I'm gonna show you what I mean. I didn't, don't know my son whatsoever, and he's not a white supremacist, he's not a racist, I just got off the phone with my mom and um, she's deleted her Facebook. It's a full-time job and it's extremely time consuming and it- <laughs> Let them see your mouth! Look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me! I know, look at me! Rittenhouse's mom is defending him. Defending him. She drove him across state lines with a weapon, dropped him at a ride, he killed two people, and she's defending the behavior and her son. Then we have Misfit, not showing any concern for anyone else in his life, but his mama and her Facebook account. Then we have Icy, who is appropriating what he thinks is black culture, although he would never admit to that. And his mama, oh, it's so cute, it's so hard being his mom. And then the trash fire mother who is exploiting her son's emotional state in order to create a video. These women are prime examples of the toxic relationship between mothers and their white sons and why the system has never changed, why the status quo remains, because they are unwilling to give up the power they wield in these relationships. Key to ending white supremacy is educating white women. And it's just facts. And if we can wake them up, we can change the system. And we can change the world to be better for us and our children. That's ultimately why I'm trying to teach white women about their ancestors so that they can be good descendants and we can actually change the world. Because if white women and black women and women of color get together, we can actually change the world. And that is facts. Dismantle the patriarch.